Saturday Morning Tunes TV is presented by Race Pace Bicycles and made possible in part by Garrison Forest School, Cool Progeny, Kennedy Krieger Institute, and Tropical Italian Ice. Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday, 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 Saturday morning, Saturday morning. Television. Hello, and welcome to Saturday Morning Tunes TV. I'm your host, Sam Sessa. You can call me Sam Sessa, Sam, Mr. Sam, Scabba Doobie. On this episode of Saturday Morning Tunes TV, we are going to learn all of the funny sounds you can make with your mouth. Okay, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them. Beatboxing, mouth trumpeting, sonic boom tongue snaps, tooth kazoos, bird calls, but not fart sounds. Nobody wants those. And besides all the funny sounds that we're gonna make with our mouths, we're gonna be hanging out with Lisa Matthews She's got her own band, Milkshake, and she's got her own radio show, Young at Heart, and we're gonna be smashing stuff on this cool new segment that I call, It's Hammer Time! So, everybody has a mouth. We use our mouths for eating, we use our mouths for talking, but you can make lots of really cool sounds with your mouth. And I have a very special friend who's gonna teach us how to make the sound of a trumpet with your mouth. A trumpet is a horn that you blow into. It's like, like that. She can make this sound just with her mouth. Her name is Victoria Vox. Check it out. Hi, my name is Victoria Vox, and today I'm going to teach you how to play your very own mouth trumpet. The mouth trumpet is an old jazz era vocal technique where we emulate the sound of a horn, like a trumpet, using the sound of our voice. Now the best place to start when learning mouth trumpeting is to sing a song that you know because singing is very important in mouth trumpeting because we are singing. We're not just blowing air. Everyone just blow air out of the side of your mouth. You don't get any sound. But if you sing, you'll get some sound. So let's just try singing Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. If you don't know it, it's really easy and I'll teach it to you right now. The words are, we all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Here we go, one, two, three. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Now the next step is to remove the words. So if you don't know the words, it's okay, but we know the melody. Now every time we sing a word, we're gonna replace it with the syllable do. So we're gonna go do, 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 do. Now you'll notice the word yellow, yellow is two syllables. So that will get do, do, two do's. Now submarine, submarine is three syllables, so we're gonna go do do do, three syllables for submarine. So every time you change a note, every time you have another syllable, you're going to re-tongue inside your mouth. Do do do, do do do. Try that. Do do do, do do do. Every note gets a new attack of a D do. Here we go. Just singing do's, yellow submarine. Here we go. One, two, three. Do, 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 again. Do, 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 Now when we sing do, you'll notice how your tongue touches the roof of your mouth 
behind your teeth. Try it. Do and be really aware of where your tongue placement is. Do. Now when you go do, like a short, not a do, but a short do. What happens at the end of the do? Your tongue goes back to the roof of your mouth. So now let's try singing it all short doots. One, two, three. Now it'll be a mixture of using the long do's and the doots as we do the melody. But next, we're going to take that do and put it to the side of our mouth like so. Now you can choose either your left side or your right side. I use the right side, but we're kind of going to be like a ventriloquist. If we had a puppet, you wouldn't see our lips moving, would you? So we're going to sing out of the side of our mouth. Our cheek and our mouth lips are very relaxed. If you're too tight, sound won't come out. So you want to be very relaxed. Now, you might see my, my cheek, my lips kind of opening, and now that's from my breath and air pushing that my relaxed lips open on the do. All right, here we go. So let's try out of the side of our mouth. And just keep your throat nice and open when you're singing, and you really got to get some, some power behind that voice to so sing nice and loud because your mouth is closed when you're doing it. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, if you know the verse, here we go. Great job. I think my mouth trumpet needs a little practice. But that's okay, because Victoria is coming back to teach us more mouth trumpet in just a few minutes. And coming up next, Mr. Root is going to teach us how to beatbox, how to make the sound of drums with our mouths. Beatbox it to the beat. But first, I want to show you something that my mommy showed me how to do when I was a kid. I call it my sonic boom tongue snap. It starts with the tongue click. You know how to do a tongue click? It's really easy. Anybody can do it. Everybody can do it. Like that. Just go. That's a regular old tongue snap. But I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Super loud, crazy tongue snap like this. Sonic boom tongue snap. The way you do it is you take your tongue and you put the front part of your tongue on the top of your mouth, the roof of your mouth. And you can kind of suck your tongue to the roof of your mouth like, like that. And then you snap it down really loud and really hard. And that's what makes that really big sound. Ready? Do it with me. Do it with me. Practice it with me. You gotta practice a lot. It takes a lot of work to get it to be a sonic boom tongue snap. But, but the more you do it, the better you're gonna get. Okay, it's time to learn how to beatbox. Mr. Root, you there? Mr. Root? Hey, everybody. Oh, here. Good he morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Because I'm sure people who aren't watching this live will be watching it later. I am Mr. Root, and today, I want to be able to share with you some of my art. 
So I'll start by showing some of it. Is that cool? Yeah, that's great. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> to me because I've been doing it for so long. So, can everybody say B? Can everybody say T? And can everybody say K? So, B, T, K. Those are three basic sounds that you hear a lot when you hear somebody doing vocal percussion or in other words, we like to call it beatboxing. So the difference is when you're doing it with beatboxing and vocal percussion, a lot of times when you are emulating or repeating those sounds, you are taking the vowel sound out of it. So B, E is a vowel. If you take that out, you have T. The E in the T sound is a vowel. If you take that E out, you have T. K has the A sound at the end of it. But if you take out the A sound, you just have K. B T K. B T K. And if that's hard for you to do, because this might be your first time doing this, you can still say B T K or B T K, B T K or T K B, T K B or K T B, K T B, K T B, K T B. And if you speed it up, you change the way that pattern sounds. I'm going to add my microphone for a little bit more amplification. When you amplify something, you are making it louder. Now let's make it a little faster. Now, let's make it really fast. Now make it super fast. That was pretty challenging. <laughs> challenging means it might have been hard. Now let's try to make it slow. So that is B, T, and K. Now where it gets fun is where you start deciding where you want to place your B's and your T's and your K's. So you can double it. So B, B, T, T, K. Or you can double two and take one out of the doubling. So then you just have five sounds. So that's five sounds. 
And if you listen to the tempo in which I'm doing it, I'm doing it in something called 4-4 four, four time. One, two, three, four. That's something you don't have to worry about right now, but that's something that I use to help me maintain a steady beat. So if you hang around and I see you for the next installment that I do, which means I'll be back again, I'll talk a little bit more about steady beat. I'll even start with a song about steady beat. Would you like a song about steady beat? Well, would you? Would you? Would you? I hope so. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So... Goodbye, my friends. I hope to see you soon. Have a great day. And check out some Saturday morning tunes. Peace. Hey, Samir. Come here, buddy. Got a surprise for you. Hey, wow, bud. Check cool. this out. Awesome. This is a brand new bicycle. Big kid bike. Just picked it up for you this morning from Race Pace Bicycles. That pesky neighborhood kid who lives next door is gonna be super jealous. Look at this, man. Off-road tires, 18 gears. It's even got a little purple bell on the side of it. You like it? Yes, I love it. Come here, buddy, I wanna tell you something. Look, once you learn how to ride a bicycle, no one can ever take that away from you. It's a skill you're gonna know your whole life, and I can't wait to teach you how to ride a bicycle for the first time. It's great father-son bonding time, buddy. Think of all the places we're gonna go, too. Like, we're gonna go on the trails, we're gonna go riding bikes through the parks. I can't wait. I'm so glad, buddy. Here, why don't you try this thing out? Hey, come back here, you! Let's go get this, ah! Okay, don't worry, we got the bicycle back. And you know, he didn't really steal it. He's not the neighborhood kid. He's my youngest son, Naveen. And he makes this really cool sound that he's gonna show you how to make. He calls it his bird call. It also kind of sounds like a whistle that you blow into, but he can make it just with his mouth. It's really cool. Check it out. Hey everybody, my name is Naveen, and I'm going to teach you how to do a bird call. It's about like rolling your tongue in a really high pitch, so it's like, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. And, and so the first step to doing that is, and then you shake it really, really hard back there until it's like, <laughs> and then go in a really high pitch, so it's like, then so it's like, <laughs> that's it. Bye-bye! That's the best I can do. I can't do it like he does it. And you know, he's not even allowed to do that sound inside of our house because it is so loud, it hurts our ears. So he's only allowed to do that sound outside. But how cool is that? Okay, so in a few minutes, we're gonna do some more beatboxing. We're gonna do some more mouth trumpeting. But right now, a really good friend of mine who helps me understand things, is gonna help us understand something. Her name is Lisa Matthews, and she sings in a band called Milkshake. You might have heard of them. I don't know. Oh, hey! Hi, I didn't see you there. Thanks for coming by the garden on this beautiful day. I'm Lisa Matthews. I host a radio show on WTMD called Young at Heart. And it's Saturday mornings at eight o'clock. Tune in for kid-friendly music for everyone. And I also have a band for kids called Milkshake. Yeah, I'm just here in the garden listening to all the different sounds in nature. There's like music all around us. And just playing my ukulele because I love the way it sounds. So pretty. Hey, you know what? We can check out some other sounds. I'll call my friend Michael from Milkshake and ask him to bring his guitar. And hey, we can play a song about different sounds, okay? All right, let me, let me use my, my magic imaginary phone and I'll just ring him up. Here we go. Hey, Michael? Michael, 
Yeah, can you come over and bring your guitar? I'm here in the garden, it's a beautiful day. I wanna do that song about different sounds. Okay, all right, I'll see you soon, bye. He's coming, he'll be here at oh, any minute. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hi. So good to see you, wow. I said I hurried. Yeah, you sure did, man. Yeah, it's just, I wanted you to play your guitar for our friends here and, um, but you know what? Before we play that song about different sounds, um, we should warm up our voices, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sometimes that sounds weird too. So here, check this out. Michael, you do what I do, okay? I'm okay. gonna do me, me, me. Here we go. Me, 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 me. Now you. I'm sorry, that you, wasn't very good. No, are you okay? Uh, I don't know, I can do laws better. Laws? Yes. Okay, all right, how about this? Just like that. Ouch! Oh my goodness. That was terrible. Oh, I know. I know the problem. Yeah, you can't sing. Well, that's part of I'm it. I'm sorry. But here's the other thing. <laughs> I think it was in too high a key for me. Oh. Boys have to sing in a lower key. Oh, so yeah. how about this? Just me and the guys. We'll go, la, 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 la. <laughs> Whoa, that was really low. But you know what? You're right. You know, boys, have thin vocal cords until they turn like 13 or 14 and then their vocal cords get thicker and that makes their voice get lower. But girls have vocal cords that are always thin all our lives. It's like we don't need to change. We're just perfect the way we are. It's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> Michael, 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 we're ready. Let's do that song um, called What's That Sound? Check this out. What's that sound? Does it make you want to frown? Plug your ears when you hear it come near. Or does it make you curious to figure out what's bugging us? Tummy have a voice. <laughs> What's that sound? Makes me wonder. What's that sound? What can it be? What's that sound? Makes me wonder. What's that sound? What can it be? There you go. Different sounds. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by. We'll catch up with you next time. Bye! Huh. Now I get it. Thanks, Lisa. Hey, do you know what a kazoo is? A kazoo is like this long piece of plastic. It's an instrument that you put in your mouth and you go into it. And it turns that sound into something that sounds really cool. Like, like that. Let me tell you something. I don't need a kazoo because I can make the sound of a kazoo with my teeth. I call it my tooth kazoo. And the way it works is you start by licking your lips. I always like to start by licking my lips because I find that a wet lip makes for a better kazoo. All right? What you do is you take your front teeth, just the front teeth, and you put them on your lower lip. And what it does is you talk or sing through that and it vibrates your teeth a little bit, and then it sounds like a kazoo, like this. Isn't that cool? Try it. That sounds good, that's a good start. What you need is practice. I've been practicing my tooth kazoo for years, a very long time. And you know what? It keeps getting better every time I do it. All right, it's time for some more mouth trumpeting with Victoria Vox. Hi again, it's Victoria Vox, and I hope you are ready to play some more of your mouth trumpet. This is going to be Memories by Maroon 5, and I'm breaking it down into three parts so you can pick which part you'd like to do.
The first part is the easiest, following the root chord progression. It is eight notes repeated, and it starts on an F, and here we go. So it sounds like this. Do, 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 repeats. Do, 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 now out the side of your mouth. So now we can add the second part on top of that. So it starts, the second part is a little trickier, but totally possible. So we'll just do the do's first. Do, 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 do. notes I'm doing long so it's kind of like long short short long short short do 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 those last two are long all right so now let's try it with the mouth trumpet The other part takes a little bit of concentration. Here we go. So last but not least is the melody. So if you know the words to the chorus of Memories, we'll sing it first. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back, memories bring back you. Now the cool thing is, is, if you don't know all the words, but you know the melody, you can mouth trumpet it. So here we go, just do's on the melody. Do, 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 do. Memories, memories is three syllables. So again, you will attack each of those syllables with a new do, memories, do, do, do. All right, so now let's try again, all parts together. But the do will be on the side of your mouth. Three, four. Here we go.
Saturday morning. Are you ready for Hammer Time? I've got my hammer. Wait a minute. That's too small. Ah, that's more like it. Now, we're going to do some serious smashing. But before we do, safety first. I've got my safety goggles and my safety gloves. All right, are you ready? For Hammer Time! First up, we're going to smash this can full of carbonated beverage. That means it's got bubbles in it. It's not soda, don't worry. It doesn't taste that good. But it's full. Ah! Whoa, look at this. I guess that's why in some parts of the country they call it Soda pop. Next up, this pair of Mr. Potato Head pants. He's not going to miss them anyway. And besides, I find these things all over the house. Hiya! I don't believe it. They're still in one piece. They, they didn't smash. They're indestructible. Mr. Potato Head's pants are indestructible. Moving on, and last but not least, this beach ball. Because summer's over, everybody, and we're going to go out with a bang. Whoa! I didn't know that the inside of a beach ball looks just like the outside of a beach ball when it's been smashed. Sorry, beach ball, but you know, sometimes you gotta get smashed. And, hey, what, what are you? Hey, what? Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Get, get, ah! I don't know about you, but I feel so much better. I'll see you next time on Hammer Time! Okay, so. We've learned mouth trumpeting, tongue snaps, bird calls, tooth kazoos, a little bit of beatboxing, but not a whole lot of beatboxing. Do you want to learn some more beatboxing? Good, because here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am Mr. Root. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you're listening to this. This is a part of your Saturday morning experience. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I know I am. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Wake up, wake up. Hey, everybody. Once again, I am Mr. Root, and it's a pleasure to be here sharing with you on this beautiful morning. I believe it's Saturday or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. One of those days is awesome. And I'm here on behalf of WTMD. I want to say thank you for listening. And I hope you all have a great and amazing day. And that this helps to start it off and kick it off in the right direction. All right. So today we're going to be working on BTNK, Steady Beat. And I think that I just went. So now we're going to do sound effects when you're making your beatboxing. So, B T K. But first, if you were here the last time I mentioned steady beat, I'll give you an example. This is an example of steady beat. You can clap your hands, you can even stomp your feet. This is an example of steady beat. When we're done, we count out by singing one, two, three, four, stop. And then we can count in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
four, stop. Or we can count it and say five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. So technically, I was kind of stopping on the other number. So let's stop on the four and start on the eight. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. This is an example of steady beat. You can clap your hands. You can even stomp your feet. All right, so now that we figured out a little bit about steady beat, now we're going to get to B, T, and K again, but this time add some more patterns. All right, so we got B, B, K. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? So, you know what that is, right? So, we got that song. Then we have BKK. So, when you push your K out, it sounds like this. But if you try to invert your K, you'll literally have your teeth together like this and your tongue on the sides of your mouth. And then it sounds like this on a microphone. Pretty cool, huh? It takes a little while to practice that one. That one's a little bit harder. So you might want to be careful because <clears throat> you don't want to choke yourself and make yourself cough and everything, you know, and then you need a glass of water. Oh, also, when you're practicing beatboxing, if you're just starting out, you might want to cover your mouth. Because you don't want to go and get a whole bunch of other people with your saliva and stuff because that's nasty. So I've worked on it for a while. So when I do beatbox, I normally beatbox away from people or into my own microphone that I could take home and clean myself. That's important. But the cool thing is you can beatbox even if you don't have a microphone. And I'm going to do the rest of this without my microphone. Are you ready? So now we're going to do B T K. Now we're going to go B, B, T, T, K, K. Now we're going to do K, K, T, T, B, B. Now we're going to do three Ks, three Ts, and three Bs. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Again, that's a lot. All right, so that was nine different sounds. Well, three different sounds, and we did each of the three sounds nine times. So that's that's math. But it also, it was nine sounds, but three of them sounded the same. Yeah, let's do a little bit of math. Now, you guys may not know this, but there is a lot of math in music. And music is beautiful, and so is math. But, you know, that's not even what this is about. It's about having fun and making the music. And all of these things can be fun all the time. It's crazy. Let me tell you a little something. One of my favorite subjects is math. favorite subjects. Well, it should be a subject. It was a lunch and music. I like to work outside because there are a whole bunch of different sounds outside, like sound effects. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. See you guys later. Have a great day. <laughs> Up, 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 up
<laughs> so much fun. I love beatboxing. Thank you so much, Mr. Root, for showing us how to do that. I love practicing beatboxing. And I have some kind of sad news right now. So we're almost, almost at the end of the first ever episode of Saturday Morning Tunes TV. Funny sounds that you can make with your mouth. And we've made some really funny sounds. Tooth kazoos, sonic boom tongue snaps, beatboxing, mouth trumpeting, bird calling, lots of cool stuff. And if you feel like you can't quite figure out how to do it, just go back in the video and watch it again so that you can practice because that's the best way to do anything better is to practice it. So we're gonna be back in a couple more weeks with a super spooky issue, a super spooky Saturday Morning Tunes TV because it's coming out on Halloween. So we're gonna have spooky songs, spooky stories, and I wanted to say something. If you have a spooky story that you know that is scary, or maybe not super scary, maybe a little scary and a little funny, Get your parents to take a video of you doing that story and share it with us. Tell them to send it to me and maybe I can use it in the next episode of Saturday Morning Tunes TV. You could be on TV. How cool is that? All right, it's time to go. I'm Sam Sessa. I will see you on the next episode of Saturday Morning Tunes TV. Bye, everybody. Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Saturday, 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 Saturday morning, Saturday morning, Television. Saturday Morning Tunes TV is presented by Race Pace Bicycles and made possible in part by Garrison Forest School, Cool Progeny, Kennedy Krieger Institute, and Tropical Italian Ice.